<laughs> so this is the co laboratory. Uh, see what we did there? I see what you did there. Co laboratory. Uh, and welcome to. Dr. Anna Krzyzewski with a J. Hi. <laughs> Anna is a material scientist. You're also, you are a young engineer of the year. For sure, you? yes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, she's going to engineer the heck out of this. So what have we got here? Here we have a chocolate fountain. You ready? Yeah, you I'm ready for you? Ready? Ready? ready. Right, hit it. Okay. Wow. So. Ah. ah. Beautiful. It's a bit of a grinder, this one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, chocolate is flowing, which is a beautiful thing. It's flowing uphill, and how does it flow uphill? Well, it flows uphill because uh, what we've got here is an Archimedes screw. <laughs> That's cool, though. We've got an Archimedes screw. And what it does is it allows liquids to flow uphill. Yeah. So down here is the heating element, and it's uh, molten. We've, we've melted the chocolate. Yeah, and that, so, so as you warm it up, uh, the cocoa butter in it, mm -hmm. especially, um, melts because um, anything over around 36 degrees, is that right? Yes, I think so. Melting. Yeah. Um, but also, <laughs> there's another secret to the chocolate fountain. That's about 40% fat. 40% <laughs> fat in there. Oh my gosh. That's right. And so you need the fat in there to be able for, for it to flow. To make it, yeah, to make it as liquid as possible. Yeah. Something very interesting about how chocolate in particular flows in that it's called a shear thinning fluid. Now, a way to understand this is to have a look at what is happening at the top here. So, <laughs> look with your eyes, not with your tongue. <laughs> so, if you have a look up here, the chocolate is flowing quite fast because it's going downhill. Yeah. And as it does that, it becomes less viscous, i.e. it becomes more runny, but like water. Once it plops down onto the next level, it kind of stops. And when it stops, it's flowing less quickly and it becomes more solid. So, in this way, chocolate can be flowing like a liquid, like water, and also flowing like a very viscous liquid. This is really important because um, millions of tonnes of chocolate have to flow around a chocolate factory, and if it gets stuck and it solidifies, I mean, you're stuffed, aren't you? Yeah, the whole factory goes in the bin. So you'd have engineers planning how this works, and Absolutely. you have to understand how it works. Are we allowed to a little bit? Oh, for sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other thing that's really interesting is mm. that I saw that, that was outrageous. So here we are at our chocolate fountain party. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try a whole lot of chocolate fountains on your behalf, so you don't have to. Absolutely. Yeah. And in doing that, we're going to investigate weird properties of liquids. Chocolate fountain number one. Ready? Yeah, is it going to work? It's going up, it's going up. Oh, <laughs> Come on! You can do it. Come on! There's some interesting material science going on here already, <laughs> Definitely. isn't there? Definitely. Oh, there we go. Come on down. Down it. It's ketchup. <laughs> it's ketchup. A ketchup fountain. How cool is that? <laughs> uh, and it's doing weird stuff, isn't it? It's doing very weird stuff. It's actually doing the same stuff as our chocolate fountain before, in that ketchup is in another example of a shear thinning fluid. <laughs> And actually you can see it a lot better in ketchup. Inside the auger it's shearing mm -hmm. and so it's putting it under pressure so it can flow up. The moment it comes out of there and it's not under so much pressure anymore, then uh, it acts a bit, more, like, like, a bit more like a solid. Exactly. And then when you've got piles of it, I guess that at the bottom of that, that, the bottom bit is under pressure, so that will be a little bit more liquid. Mm -hmm. and, and so that's why it is flowing, but it's flowing really badly. <laughs> exactly. So this yes. is part of one of the age-old problems of mankind, which if mm. we solved, is, is a bit like solving war, really. I would have thought so. Well, the solution that we've tried to do with this ketchup is by putting pressure on it. So momentarily, <laughs> momentarily, <laughs> by smacking it, you add a little bit of pressure to it. It's going well. <laughs> if you want to have a party, a chip party, with a chocolate fountain, it's, it's just not flowing anymore because of the sheer thinning. So you can just have one of these. Uh-huh. That's great. That's quite cool. Mm. It's, great. it's sort of revolting mm -hmm. and yet cool at the same time. I've got ketchup on my face. Next up, what do we have here? Next up, we have the drinks at our party, mm -hmm. also in a fountain. Mm. Yeah, is that rubbish? Mm. It's not really working, is it? It's well rubbish. Um, okay, so uh, so this is just water, it's plain water. Yeah, plain no. old boring water. Okay, so augers are used for getting liquids to move uphill. Why is this not liquid not moving uphill? Well, I think this liquid isn't moving uphill because it's not viscous enough. Okay. It's just too watery. So uh, we need a liquid that is more viscous. Mm -hmm. Should we give it a go? Yeah. Mm. Alright. Oh. oh, blimey. Okay, I think so 
It's making the auger go very slowly. Yeah. It's might well burn it out. That is beautiful though, That's right? Perfect. The most viscous liquid. The most vis viscous liquid. Known to man. Known to man. <laughs> <laughs> and is it going to make it down? This is the question. Yeah. There it oh, goes, oh, there it goes. That is stunning. I mean, it is an exercise in viscosity in a way. Isn't it's it? really it's beautiful. beautiful. Could just stare at that for ages. Mm. Golden syrup fountain. Oh wow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Cheers. Uh -huh. This is more viscous than that, so yeah. it's performing differently. The question is, why is it more viscous? Well, it's more viscous than this one because they have very different types of molecules. So the molecules of water are very, very small. So water is H to O. So it's only got three atoms in its molecule. Two H's and one O. Sugar is a much more complicated molecule. It's much bigger. So when this type of sugar wants to flow, the molecules get all tangled up around each other and they get in the way of each other flowing around. Yeah. So that's why this one is more viscous than the water. Now, final surprise uh, for Anna, uh, and it's this nice one over here. Oh, it's just smeared around. <laughs> just one. Come on, baby, you can do it. There we go. Oh, cool. Oh, my lord. <laughs> So, you're going to um, tell me what this is? <laughs> oh god, I don't know. Blood. No. Who? This <laughs> is a blood filter. No, it's not. It is. <laughs> and the reason it's turning into lumps is it keeps on congealing, so we call it liquid liquids. <laughs> It's a problem when you have a blood fountain, it just won't flow because it congeals all the time. Um, yeah, this is a blood fountain, so this is um, pig's blood, um, but we've reconstituted it from, from dried blood. Wow. Uh, and so tell us all about blood. <laughs> Anna. Well, blood uh, if you're horrified at home, uh, there is a reason for doing it. So, yeah, so tell us about yeah, blood. Yeah, blood is a sheer thinning fluid. And so that's, that's one of the reasons that our blood can be pumped all the way around our bodies just by our heart, which is a relatively small organ. So that's why we have blood pressure. Yeah. So when it's under pressure, it's thinner and it moves, it's more liquid exactly. and it moves around, so it's less viscous. Yeah. Um, oh my God, it's flowing with gusto now, which is quite revolting. I, I mean, if, you, if it's Halloween, uh, sure. then maybe yeah. you would want that. Um, just tell us about your dietary requirements. <laughs> vegan. <laughs> 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 so I would not be trying this, but if I was going to have a party of vampires, that would be the chocolate hey, vampire. Hey, we're in there, we were a bit worried that you might go <laughs> run out the door thinking that it's revolting. And it is in many ways It is revolting, revolting but for science it's yeah, worth it. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the, I think it's amazing that we have blood pressure and that's, it's thinner inside this. My favorite fountain has got to be the golden syrup. Gold it's syrup. beautiful, look at it. It's stunning and it it's is. delicious. Yeah, it's good. Um, but what we thought it, we do is get an expert uh, on parties um, to judge our fountains. So this is Poppy Gates, and uh, Poppy Gates loves a party, don't you? She spends most of her weekends at them. <laughs> if they're not hers, somebody else's. All right, so uh, we want you to judge our fountain. Fountain number one, open your eyes. Do you know what that is? Ketchup. Ketchup, it's a ketchup fountain. Do you like the sound of that? <laughs> Dip it in the ketchup. It's not really flowing anymore. That's no. because of material science. <laughs> Do you still think that's a revolting idea? Yeah. The second one is a water fountain! Yay! Not very good, is it? No. no. We'll give you the third one. So, do you know what this is? Honey? Honey? It doesn't look like honey, does it? Mm. What is it? It's golden syrup. So satisfying. Do you think that would go down well with your mates? Yes. A chocolate fountain made from golden syrup, okay? Mm -hmm. Happiness? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Any idea what this is? Chocolate. Chocolate! No. No, don't either. <laughs> this is a blood fountain. <laughs> we thought, you know, if you're having a Halloween party or something like that. <laughs> so our expert opinion appears to be that maybe the golden syrup is the fountain of choice. Is that right, Pops? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Where are you off to? <laughs> <laughs> Pops is off to be sick.
Uh, okay, um, well, uh, okay, there you go. So, uh, four chocolate fountains of different types. You make your choice. I think that's probably the winner for most people. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much, Hannah, for pleasure. doing the video with us. Um, take a look at our other videos. We've got other videos about chocolate fountains, even more bizarre than this. Uh, and if you can, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye.